everyone, welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can use Passport with Bitcoin Core. Bitcoin Core is the reference implementation built and maintained by the Bitcoin Core developer team. As well as wallet functionality, Bitcoin Core comes pre-packaged with its own node software, allowing you to verify your own transactions easily on your own computer. And because of that built-in node software, it's best practice to let the initial block download complete uh, before importing any wallets or creating any new wallets. And depending on the hardware that you're running Bitcoin Core on, that can take anywhere between uh, a couple of hours to a couple of days. It really, um, it really depends. Okay, so before we get started with the pairing process, it's really worth mentioning here that um, it's really important where you get your Bitcoin Core download from. Uh, there are two recommended places. Uh, the first one is um, bitcoin.org. Uh, you'll find the download link there for the software for any of the popular operating systems and the other one is bitcoincore.org both of these websites have um, uh, instructions on how you can verify the integrity of the download as well uh, which you should do if you have the ability to do so and finally uh, advanced users might choose to download their software directly from the Bitcoin Core uh, github repository this can be found at github.com slash Bitcoin. Now we've cleared that up, let's get started with the initial pairing. Okay, so let's start by creating a new blank wallet within Bitcoin Core. So we're gonna hit create a new wallet and give that wallet a name. And then we want to tick disable private keys. So we don't want Bitcoin Core to generate any private keys for us. We're gonna manage those on Passport. Then we're going to hit create. Okay, so now we have the blank wallet. So the next step over on Passport, I'm going to head down to pair wallet. I'm going to choose my account. And then I'm going to choose Bitcoin Core. And then Passport says next, Passport will save a .txt file to your micro SD card to use for Bitcoin Core. And press continue. There we go, the TXT file is now onto the um, micro SD card. So I'm gonna take that out and then pop that into my computer. Open up the micro SD card. We can see the .txt file there. I'm just gonna open that up. And as you can see here, we've got the instructions uh, to import into Bitcoin Core. So the following command can be entered after opening Window Console, which I'm going to show you those steps in a second, into Bitcoin Core. So all I'm going to do is copy that entire string. And then within Bitcoin Core, I'm going to go to Window and Console. And this is open opening up uh, a field or a box where we can enter specific commands so all I'm going to do is click into that box at the bottom and paste and then press enter there we go we've got a success message so that should mean that our passport wallet is uh, successfully imported into Bitcoin Core so we can close the console window and then I'm going to head up to receive and then create new receive address and we can see on screen we've got our first receiving address so on Passport, uh, to finalize the pairing process, Passport would like to scan that QR code on screen just to verify that the import was successful and that the address shown on screen is actually one that is controlled by Passport. And there we go, we've got a pairing complete success message on Passport and the import is done. So the next step is to send some Bitcoin into this address that you can see on screen. So I'm just gonna head, head over and do that now from one of my uh, mobile wallets. Okay, so we've received some Bitcoin into our Bitcoin Core wallet here. Um, so if we head over to the transactions tab, you can see a list of all of the transactions made or received. And if you head over to show transaction details, you can see a list of uh, transaction details, including confirmations, date and time, receiving address, uh, amount received, transaction ID. 
So we've received some Bitcoin. Uh, now we're going to demonstrate a spend. Um, so to do that, I'm going to head to the spend tab. Paste in the address that I want to send to. You can optionally add a label for this transaction if you want to. And then you can um, enter the amount that you wish to send. You can use the full available balance using this button here if required. And then you can set your transaction fee. Now Bitcoin Core offers it in terms of blocks. Um, as we know, each block is roughly 10 minutes. Um, or you can opt to use a custom fee as well. Once you're happy with the details on screen, you can click Create Unsigned. Here you'll see a final review of the uh, transaction details. And then you can click Create Unsigned again. Now by default, Bitcoin Core will um, copy the unsigned PSBT to your clipboard. Uh, but to uh, liaise with Passport, I'm going to opt to save that. And I'm just going to temporarily pop it into my documents folder. And I then just need to copy that across to my uh, micro SD card. There we go. So I'm just going to eject the micro SD card from my computer. And pop it into Passport. So on Passport, I'm going to head down to Sign with Micro SD. Passport is going to show me the amount being sent, the destination address, the change amount, and the change address. And finally, it's going to show me the network fee. I can then hit Sign. Passport then says Updated PSBT, Finalized Transaction, and it's saved the sign transaction to the micro SD card so I can take that back out of passport and pop it back into my computer okay so I'm just going to open up the micro SD card and there we can see the signed.psbt file so I'm just going to copy that back across to my document folder Again, you can put this wherever you like on your computer. It's just a temporary measure so that Bitcoin Core can access it. So back within Bitcoin Core, I'm going to head to File, Load PSBT from File. And then I'm going to choose the signed.psbt file. So Bitcoin Core has read that and it says the transaction is fully signed and ready for broadcast. We can either save that to be broadcast at a later date or I can click Broadcast Transaction. And there we go, the transaction has been broadcast out to the network. We can just confirm that by heading to the Transactions tab. And there we can see on the top there, we have our 5,000 SAT donation transaction in the mempool waiting to be processed.